It's slasher cheese greatness and it doesn't pretend to be anything but. Scream 6 picks up from the last film which was called well, just Scream rather than Scream 5. Alas, there's some in this for the new fans, the likes of Jenna Ortega and Mason Gooding, and there's plenty for the old fans, the likes of Courtney Cox and Hayden Pantier. Hello. Let's play a game. You know you're like the tenth guy to try this, right? It never works out for the dipshit in the mask. But there's never been one like me, Gail. Tara and Sam have moved to New York, putting behind the crazy that was following them. While Tara is hiding the fact she's clearly not doing too well with the events of Woodsboro, it's Sam who is battling the greatest demons. But things get a whole lot worse when the ghost face killer copycats are after them once again. This isn't like any other ghost face. This movie doesn't hold back on the gore and really pushes the boundaries, but it's that fine line you'll find when you either turn in shock or laugh at how ridiculous it is. He's gonna keep coming after us. Maybe he gets to win this time. What you will find is a whole lot of dead ends and roundabouts as you try to figure out who actually is the ghost face. I hear you're a horror fan. It's been said. <laughs> It pokes fun at itself and gives everyone what they signed up for when they sat down to watch it. Twists, turns, blood, suspense, you know what to expect, and that's exactly what you'll get. This gets three and a half knives in the back out of five.